Alright, a little bit of a uh, Hitsika quick reaction here. Looking at the newest illustrations from Faith Wolf for The Bridge, Chapter 30. First one I'm looking at is You Owe Me. It's got Mothra, our Space Godzilla, and the, uh, sh the uh, Shobijin hanging out in the little crystal bathtub there. The Shubijin we we can see are inspired by uh, Matt Frank's Neo versions, which uh, Faith alludes to in her description. Uh, looking around here, uh, Space Go Go uh, Space Godzilla's all like, "Yeah, I got him. They're good." Mothra's all like, "Oh." It uh, Faith does Faith doesn't draw the uh, monsters themselves all that much, but. But she does a really good job with them, even if they are like really cartoony looking. Mother looks, Mother actually looks really good. I like the way she, 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 she looks. The work on the head is uh, very good. I like the way it looks. Space Godzilla's uh, a little more cat-like, I think. He's, he's, he's got some smoother features than than he does of the movie, obviously. Drawing all that detail is would not be in sync with how. The, the characters in this world look, but uh, yeah, it looks good. I like it. Moving on. Next up is an early wake-up call, and as the story tell uh, tells us, this is a uh, banged-up Baragon come to wake up Ang Angulus early from his uh, hibernation, cr crystallization, his uh, development. Yeah, I'll go with that. Apparently, Godzilla and Gamera are, are currently engaged in, in a brutal fight with Ghost Godzilla. Uh, Baragon was a part of that and he really took the worst of it. Oh, oh. He was fighting uh, Ghost Godzilla first, lost really really badly and now has come to summon Angulus who will join the fight with Godzilla and Gamera against their malevolent counterpart. Not a whole lot here to really speak on. Uh, uh, a Angulus' face is in the case behind his uh, crystal his uh, chrysalis here. So there's our wavy organ. Uh, Baragon. Ooh, Baragon's got a uh, bloody paw print. He's smearing across the uh, crystal. Looks good. I, I kind of wish we got like a little re a little reflection of uh, Baragon's face in the, like the crystal mirror. I suppose the uh, the visual that they that they were really going for was focused on was focused on on Angulus, and that's why they that's why it's pretty much his face that that, uh, that you see. Number three is Shambhala's final act. Now this one is interesting. We got a little on the right side. We have a little Indian uh, guru man. He is the guru of Shambhala. He has many secrets to tell you. Most of them in involve curry. It is very d delicious. In the middle is a uh, kingly look, a uh, kingly look, uh, looking person. Uh, oh, queenly looking. This, despite the beard, there is kind, there is a uh, kind of a bosom in the chest area and the. Um, the lower half does look a little skirty. This might be like a older, like, like an older uh, type of uh, dress, to use the ambiguous form of the term, or just like a robe uh, tied up. But uh, maybe this is a thing back, back way back then. All, all these magical creatures all around. This is some type of like hermaphroditic uh, cross, uh, cross sexual uh, uh, being. Certainly very interesting aesthetically. O on the left, we got this uh, toothy looking gremlin lady with uh, skin splotches. Looks like she, she might she might have got bad bad uh, sunburn, or she's got uh, some type of uh, some type type of uh, condition with her uh, dermis. We'll call her there. Lab Lab, uh, lab coat, just make sure not to feed her after midnight, don't get her wet. Some look on her face. 
Very interesting person. I'd like to see like the other, like her whole body fleshed out, so to speak. Wonder what it looks like. Like I'm sure Tarb has the um, like the whole races of the Shambhala thing start out to some to to some extent. Maybe not to you know, maybe not to like really specific degrees. But I'm sure he has ideas about what the uh, different characters all look like. Going back to the guy. To the uh, figure in the middle, the dress is a look is kind of a mix. It looks to, to me between maybe like a Pacific Islander and uh, Babylonian. In interesting choices uh, for the uh, uh, I'd say inspirations for the uh, dress. And of course, and of course, pa and of course, pa Papa Genji on the right side. All right, and this final one was the one we got with the release of chapter of uh, chapter 30, titled "Interrogation." Th this one features uh, Starlight Glimmer's sister, Moonlight. Moonlight. Um, that was the last name. Moonlight something. Moonlight Glimmer. Yeah, I'll go with that. Uh, up on the uh, di uh, up on the uh, raised dais in the uh, judge the uh, judge seat is. Uh, it was a fancy pants. That's who it was. It was fancy pants. And his head's uh, cut off. I assume. I assume his uh, mustache is up there somewhere. I can see the the uh, teller of his monocle. And seated in the uh, witness box is Godzilla Jr. decked out in his uh, night guard armor, with uh, Luna's crest there in the center. Now at this point in the uh, in the uh, quote unquote trial. Uh, Godzilla Jr. has been uh, pretty riled up <laughs> and his 1980s uh, David Bowie's hair is all uh, sparked up uh, infused with his nuclear energies his eyes are going red which is an allusion to the the uh, gimmick from Godzilla vs. Godzilla 2 in which when he was worried or very or highly agitated his, his eyes would glow red when he was younger he's got some steam cu coming out of his nose and a nice effect there, and he and look on his face as described in the uh, story is that he's very nervously getting angry. Like he doesn't want to be angry, but he kind of can't stop himself at this point because she's just really pushing him on. Uh, I like the that the, the hairstyle on uh, Moonlight is uh, different. Got the bun in back, the cur and the uh, curl in front, the curly bang. It's a nice way to to separate her from uh, Starlight's look. Uh, Junior looks big and strong as always. He's a little hidden behind his armor, but but you already know he's he's uh, freaking huge. Cause you can cook, uh, you can compare him to uh, Fancy Pants up on the left there, and, and you can already tell he's like he's like twice his mass. So he is absolutely huge. Like Godzilla Junior can like reach up. Grab fancy pants in his jaws around around fan, fan throat and just fling him around like, like a cat does a mouse, which wouldn't be too bad to see. That that would be kind of funny. All right, again, Faith did some fantastic work here as she always does. The the uh, details, the, the colors, the lines. I'm I'm curious as to what degree Tarb tells her what to draw because I have to think that a lot of the aesthetic is up to is up to Faith herself who who actually draws things draws things out. I can imagine Tarb tell, tells her what what's go what's going on what what do you think is important uh, what is important to be expressed in the aesthetics. Like what, like what he's looking for, and Faith just kind of fills in all the, all the uh, gray matter, and uh, flushes it out. So another fantastic round of art from Faith Wolf. The magnificent machine is pleased with this chapter's artwork. You will not be destroyed with finger missiles and belly lasers today. 
Links are included down below in the di in the description to uh, Tartano's pages, Faith Faith's pages, and uh, my pages. So click on those and uh, bookmark them. Bookmark them, I said. And uh, enjoy yourselves. <laughs>